Term has ended, in fact, the whole of first year has ended, so I'm back in London for a couple of days. I haven't uploaded for a fortnight because I've been working, I've been really busy, but I have been filming, so here it is. I decided to make a raspberry tart to surprise my family when they all get home. No idea where that idea came from, but whilst I'm doing that, I am going to narrate to you the last couple of weeks of work. This term went really quickly. I had this sort of short rush like I had at the end of last term where I had to produce lots of drawings very quickly. So I did a lot of those actually on the computer and then the rest of my work has basically just been, as usual, really intense model making, which is my favorite thing to do. So this model is basically a close-up of one of the joints of the exoskeleton of my building. Because I've pretended I'm designing a building to go in the apocalypse, it needs to be really strong and weather resistant. So it has this entire exoskeleton frame across the entire outside of the building for extra strength. And that's basically what this model is all about. Plain flour, almonds, in they go. Golden caster sugar. This is, this is a ridiculous amount of pastry. So basically my design is sort of like a hexagonal ring of defense. So there's this outer ring with six hexagons at the corner of one big hexagon. Inside that ring of defense, there's like a much larger central pod. Should any kind of adverse weather effect damage the outside, then people in the inside are still safe. Each of the six hexagons on the outside are like external little rooms and they each have their own functions but those functions are ultimately somewhat superficial compared to the hub at the center which has all the life supports the sleeping the kitchen etc oh. very difficult making tarts at the same time as talking to a camera that's at a really weird low angle Inside part then has four individual sections as well. So the outside has six sections which have superficial functions that are useful but don't really matter if they get destroyed. And the inside has four levels which are life support, kitchen, dining, sleeping, bathrooms, and then like a weather lookout station. You know what? Gotta say, pretty good. Not bad at all. Not the best pudding I've ever made, but, but hey, pretty good. I'm gonna jump to the promised Q&A segment now, so... Ishita says, since architecture is a pretty area-specific field, does it make any sense to study abroad or study away from the country you're in? If you study in one country and then try and work in another, obviously that becomes complicated. There are lots of qualifications, lots of boxes to tick. However, I personally absolutely definitely want to do this anyway. Certainly within Europe, a lot of the regulations are fairly similar. There are ways to translate them. How art-based is the architecture degree in Cambridge? Uh, well, there are some people that are definitely a lot more arty than others. Uh, I am not in that category. <laughs> we don't get rewarded for doing stuff that looks really cool and arty simply for the sake of it. We're not, we're not like very, very strongly towards the arty side of things. Maria says, what subjects should I take for A-levels if I want to study architecture? Totally up to you um, and the university that you apply to. Some universities will require art A-level. Some universities require maths. Lots of universities require neither of those two. So. It, I can't stress enough, choose stuff that you actually enjoy because if you find something horrible and really boring you're going to find it a lot more difficult to work hard for it and then you're less likely to do well. Sam Spencer says, how tall are you? I am 6 foot 1, 184, 185 centimetres, something like that. My beer's floating. I didn't know that was a thing. Also, yeah, totally forgot to say, thank you so much for everybody who submitted questions. If you want to submit more questions, follow my Instagram. Uh, back to the vlog. Cheers very much. This next model is a 150 scale model of one of the bunks, the bedroom cabins inside the central hub of my building. The building is a hexagon in both plan and in section, so horizontally and vertically. That means the outside walls are all on an angle, which makes it quite tricky to fit everything in furniture-wise. So to solve this, I just experimented with the model, creating lots of little furniture and moving them around. 
Naturally, my perfectionism turned this from what was supposed to be a simple sketch model to an actual final model, though. However, I was quite happy with how that turned out, so I think the extra effort was probably worth it. Here's the bed frame, the desk, and nope, that clamp isn't going to be useful here, Callum. The ensuite and bed are deliberately arranged to create the same triangle in the floor that's found everywhere else in the design. The obscenely small coffee cup is of course obligatory here, and the laptop is actually scaled down from my own real life one. Six of these cabins would tessellate together to form the entire hexagon plan of one of the floors inside the central hub. So, having finished two extra models, several more computer-based drawings, the last thing for me to do is put together my portfolio. This is the one big PDF with all of my work for the entire term in it. Submitting it is a huge weight off the shoulders and also marks the end of the year. All done. All done. First year. So a whole year of uni is over just like that and with it a third of my time in Cambridge is gone already. I sort of went into this year expecting it to be a write-off. However, I've had a great time regardless and met so many new people, learned so many new things. It's been it's been okay. Because the terms are so short and so intense, they go by just really, really quick. To that end, I'm really looking forward to applying everything I have done next year because I feel like it's been such a short amount of time this year that I've only really been doing basic skills. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a video on my actual presentation so that you can see my work as I submit it as opposed to just behind the scenes. I am then going to also do a couple of videos with like a tour of my room and also my college so you can see a bit more. But that's it for the pseudo vlogs. Big sad, they won't be back until October because I don't have any more work. As ever, thank you so much for watching and for your ongoing support. I will see you in the next one.